Hi YouTube, this is just and my fitness pal. This is just a quick update and to answer a question that I received. Am I just doing ab work and that's it? No, I'm not just doing ab work. I'm doing at least an hour of cardio every day. So one day I walked and I've walked probably for an hour with my workout partner. Um, she is actually an old manager, a boss that I had at an old job. We walked together in the evenings. But that morning, I did my ab work at the gym. And then I did the elliptical machine for 35 minutes. So I do walking. I do. I did the elliptical machine just once this week. Um, I, when I walk, I, we're walking up hills. I've showed hills in a previous video that I walk up, but these were like hill after hill after hill, and these are steep inclines, okay? The area that I live in is actually, you know, um, very, I won't say mountainous, but ju they're just hills everywhere. So um, we do that, um, and I, sometimes I run some of the hills, but you know, a good little jog um, on some of the hills. So that's what I've been doing. I may go out during my lunch hour and walk maybe 15 minutes, maybe a half an hour. It all varies. But usually I do at least, not even usually, I do at least a half an hour at a time um, to an hour at a time of cardio. But I always do at least an hour a day. So I've been doing um, cardio as well. Um, to really bring the weight down this week so far, usually as you, um, as some of you may know, I weigh in on Sundays. I did weigh myself today and I did lose weight this week. So I want that to continue. So hopefully on Sunday, I won't be showing at 2.13 and 2.13 and a half again. And hopefully that's just over period, um, Am I getting my water in is another question. I drink water, um, and that's my primary beverage. Really, that's all I drink most of the time. When I was in high school, which was years way back, I was in high school. Um, I stopped drinking sodas for a year because I found out how much sugar was in them. My dad um, is diabetic, and I decided I just wanted to cut that um, out. I wasn't even really overweight back then when I was in high school. Um, I just wanted to cut sodas out. I never went back to them um, in any major kind of way. So my uh, primary beverage is water. It is about 7.15. I've already had 32 ounces of water. So I'll go to work before lunch. I'll have 32 uh, more ounces. Um, after lunch before I come home sometimes I get in a full 32 after lunch sometimes I don't quite get in 32 I may do 20 and then I come home and I may have usually 64 more ounces because when I go out to walk I'm like down in water um, as I'm walking and when I get back home so I really get my water in so those are the questions I'm doing cardio and I'm doing cardio um, daily and then uh, I'm drinking my water. And that's pretty much it. My waist, I measured it this morning. It has come down. I will give that measurement on Sunday. Uh, my bra fits better. So I know I'm coming down even around my upper abs. A couple of bras I couldn't wear because they were just too tight. Um, and then I could wear them. But it would make me itch when I took them off. Sorry, gentlemen. It would make me itch when I took them off. And women, we know how that is. For any guys who may be walk, watching, it's like if you wear a sock where the elastic is and it's too tight. And you take those socks off and woo, just kind of an itching sensation. That's what it's been like. But none of that. I've been wearing um, the undergarment that I wanted to wear undergarments that I want to wear without that having that problem so I know I've come down in my upper um 
stomach area as well. So, it's working. These are a size 14 gap trouser jeans. They're tight. Does my stomach still come over them? Uh-huh. However, I want this is just powder, guys. However, I wanted to wear them. They're not so bad where it's just, you know, I'm wearing a shirt over top of them. So it's kind of, you know, the shirt kind of hangs. So it's not so obvious. So not quite um, ready for a 14 officially. But I'm going to wear these today. I One thing I can't stand, they're not tight in the glutes or anything like that. Like overly tight. So, it's okay. You can tell the difference if you saw my video on Sunday with the um, Liz Claiborne 14 slacks. You can tell the difference. These don't fit as tightly as those. So, I'll be glad when I'm in a 14 period. Like, I can get into any 14 and I'm not having difficulty in the stomach area because this really is unacceptable i like to be able to you know wear a 14 or wear any size or whatever without having to wear a shirt over top of them to mask anything but it is what it is i'm gonna wear these today so as i said i'll do my weigh in on sunday um and i'll do my ab measurements on sunday there is one thing i do want to say from my ad video earlier with working out with the towel when you go over just make sure you're bending from the waist you do not want to do this bending from your hip that's not exercising your obliques it's just the side you're moving just the side your legs your hips your glutes are staying stable do not do this that's not the right thing the proper form is over at the waist. Over at the waist. All right? I'm just, I apologize because I left that out of the video. All right, so I'm going to start my work day. Um, if you want to see what I've been eating, you can go to my fitness pal. My, my fitness pal page is DMV Butterfly. Without the 1970, I do post my diary. I have not posted, I don't believe, my dinners. But you can see what I've been having for breakfast and for lunch. Alright, God bless you.